What's up, my guys? Here are six signs she doesn't respect you. She talks about her experience constantly, as if you care to be reminded of who came before you. Unwilling to connect, AKA, she only talks about herself. Oh, you wanna tell her what's going on in your life? She doesn't care. She gives sexual attention to others. Just leave now. Disregard for boundaries, AKA, she won't stop talking to that ex that you repeatedly voice concerns about, criticizing you in public. Downright embarrassing. She consistently undermines your authority and decision-making ability. Good luck being the man of the house. Come on guys, do better. If you care about your manhood, you might want to listen up. What are phthalates and why are they lowering your testosterone? Phthalates are a class of chemicals that are commonly used as plasticizers in many consumer products, such as hygiene products. So if you use shampoo, conditioner, body wash, or deodorant, you should pay attention. Phthalates have been shown to have adverse effects on testosterone levels in men. They're considered endocrine disruptors, meaning that they interfere with the normal function of the endocrine system, which regulates hormones in the body, including including testosterone. Studies have shown that exposure to phthalates can lead to a decrease in testosterone levels in men. Lower levels of testosterone can decrease sex drive, decrease muscle mass, and decrease bone density. This is why I will be releasing my own line of phthalate-free men's hygiene products on April 8th at 10 a.m. Eastern. I'm here to save your testosterone, boys. Check out this link or the link in my bio to sign up for the latest updates. This launch is going to change the game. Making your home modern and beautiful is easier than you think with 5050 RGB SMD strip lights. Bright, uniform, ambient lighting for anywhere in your room. Use exactly the length you need thanks to the cuttable design. Waterproof properties and the use of double copper make them durable and long-lasting in all conditions. Change the colors, effects, and brightness of the lights thanks to the wireless remote or the app on your phone. Change the look of your home. Order now. Make I want a man that treats me like a queen. Oh, do you? If you want your man to treat you like a queen, you gotta treat your man like a king. We're gonna go all the way back to the old kingdom. A queen's job? Reproduction. Sure, give your husband some silent support here and there, but be sure to provide him with as many sons as possible. Now I know what you're saying. We changed. All right, let's look at our most well-known modern day queen, Queen Elizabeth II. Sure, she was a boss babe. She leveled the playing field with the Crown Act, which allows the firstborn, regardless of gender, the right to ascend to the throne if they are within the direct lineage of the monarch. But my point still stands. Queen Elizabeth's primary role was reproduction. A queen's legacy is her children. The monarchy doesn't continue without it. So the fact that modern day women want to be treated like a queen, but want a life free from children and the roles that come with motherhood is selfish at best. Here are some things every dude needs to do in the morning to get his life the fuck together. Number one, get out of bed. Listen, once your eyes open, you have to stand the hell up. I've never met a miserable person that has a solid morning routine. Number two, get natural sunlight. Listen, I am not the best sleeper ever, but I'm working on it. And here's something that I've been implementing. When I get my ass up, I walk on over to this door that you can't see, and I sit on this lovely porch for 10 minutes. As soon as I see that natural sunlight, my brain starts to function. Next, shower. I don't wanna hear that you're a nighttime shower. Shower? You also have to be a morning showerer. Wash your hair, wash your body, and wash your downstairs. You just laid in your own oil and dead skin cells for the past eight hours. Men that don't shower in the morning are always the slimiest. And also, please don't use the overbearing products. No girls like those cheap, over-the-top smells like your drugstore body wash. And this is exactly why I came up with my own line of hygiene products in collaboration with He Grooming, launching on April 8th at 10 a.m. Eastern, that are only fragranced with a blend of essential oils that will also help support healthy testosterone levels and this set will include everything you need visit this link or the link in my bio to sign up for email updates and receive the latest news on this launch and lastly if you can walk to buy your coffee this is something i started doing recently that was a game changer fitting in a mini workout that early makes the coffee so much more worth it another pro tip if you have a cup of coffee get a cup of water in that other hand ultimate way to up your water intake from the start of the day when you start to get your life together the girls will fall into place 
Here are the three things that women look for in men that you need to have. Boundaries. Although women often act like they don't want a man that controls them, this is false. I want a man that draws a line in the sand. I respect a man that's willing to walk away at any moment if I'm not reciprocating the respect that he deserves. Mutual respect is what makes a relationship worthwhile. Masculinity. Women are generally drawn to masculine men because masculinity is associated with strength, confidence, and assertiveness. These traits provide a sense of security and protection for women. Oftentimes, these masculine traits are linked to high testosterone levels, and there are many environmental factors that impact modern men's T levels, like your daily hygiene products, work schedules, sleep, food, and much, much more. So I took matters into my own hands to give you healthier alternatives. I will be releasing my own line in collaboration with He Grooming on April 8th at 10 a.m. Eastern, and their lines sell out quickly. So sign up at the link in my bio to receive updates. You won't want to miss it. Drive and purpose. Having drive and purpose can also be indicative of other positive traits such as responsibility, confidence, and discipline. I'm drawn to these qualities because I want to make a man more successful, not drag him along and mother him through his life. Additionally, these men are usually better conversationalists because they have interesting things to talk about. Having a passion for something that he is willing to share with others can create deeper connections and more meaningful conversations. <laughs> Do you want the secret to instant attraction? Find a good cologne. That girl will literally crave you. Here are the three sexiest scents of 2023. Coming in at number three, we have Amar Leopard by Sanctuary. This one's for a particular crowd. You gotta respect the earthy scents, but if you can pull it off, you will smell extremely masculine and different from every other beta male she's been with. In second place, we have one that I've been known to wear as well. Get a Room by Confessions of a Rebel. God, I love this one. Its warm note of vanilla is balanced by fresh notes of apple, mandarin, sage, and cypress, and it will definitely make her wanna get a room. See what I did there? And before I give you my top pick, I have a little surprise. I know colognes can be pretty pricey, so I partnered with Scentbird to bring you these scents for an extremely discounted rate. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription that allows you to try a new designer fragrance every single month for just $17. Every month you get to pick what you receive, so there's literally no surprises, and I hate surprises. And if you use code Billy, you'll get 55% off your first fragrance. That's $8 for your first month. And this is available in the US and Canada. And lastly, the sexiest scent of them all, Percival by Parfum de Marly. This one screams high class. It's the perfect balance of woody and citrus, which gives it that bold alpha feel. Do you know those men that have such a powerful presence that you still feel them once they leave the room? That's this cologne. It's unforgettable and that's exactly what you need in today's dating market. Hey, you. Next time you want to approach a girl in public, use this tip. Ask for help, no matter the situation. At a grocery store? Hey, do you know how to tell if this pineapple's ripe? At a coffee shop? Hey, what do you usually get on the menu here? At the gym? Hey, do you know of any good smoothie shops nearby? I'm new to the area. At a bar? Hey, I need a female perspective. Does this outfit match? Stop overcomplicating things with your cheesy pickup line. Girls are always more than willing to insert their two cents.